Welcome back, welcome back, Cancers. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everybody. I am the host and the creator. My name is Catherine. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. You guys, this is part two. We are going to get right into the message we got cut out before, but we are back. So I am very sorry about that, you guys. But I am back with you, and I'm sorry. We, uh, the camera did what it wanted to do. <laughs> so let's get finished. We were, we had one last oracle to go, Cancer. I just pulled this get more information. Get more information, Cancer. So there's going to be, uh, somebody's going to be asking some questions here. Or, um... Somebody's going to be getting curious and wanting to know something, Cancer. So we're going to find out. We'll, we'll get into the tarot message here. Just one second. Relight my incense. Okay, Cancer. So the final message here. A light grows brighter only by lighting another, number two. And uh, we have a mirror here as well, Cancer. And I do feel like the two of you do mirror each other um, in this particular sense here, Cancer. I feel like the two of you are going to be coming together and lighting each other's fire. Definitely, Cancer. So, um, I feel like this is a really good sign here, um, but I do feel an energy of somebody who's being very closed off at the moment, Cancer, somebody who is not really receptive or being receptive to, um, you know, the lighter side in life. Somebody needs to lighten up, Cancer, is this you? Is this your person? So, we are going to get into the tarot. So, give me just one moment, then we'll get started with the tarot message. Okay, Cancers, let's get into the tarot and see what the message brings here. See how this comes together. See what this life-changing epiphany is going to be as well that causes you to open up to your person. So let's see what's happening. Let's see if this is your energy. This could be your energy. It could be your person's energy, Cancer. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about Cancer. Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer, please. Tell us about cancer, Holy Spirit. So we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Devil here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And Capricorn energy here. Tell us about Cancer, please, Holy Spirit. And we have Cancer, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Cancer, strong Cancerian energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell us about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and gods. And then we have the two of pentacles with the fool in the reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and fire energy. I'm sorry, air energy here with that fool card. Underneath the deck. We have the tower with the wheel of fortune, the 
king of cups here so we have a true pair with that king and that queen of cups there we have a true pair here on the board cancer So Cancer, with the Ace of Cups in the reverse here in that Devil energy, that is um, very concerning. This is telling me that there is someone who is separated from their person because of some third party energy some temptation cancer that was you know outside of the connection something that came in and tempted your person or tempted you um there's an energy of somebody being separated in the past okay um with that devil energy this could be a previous connection you could have a, an overall fear of being separated from your person cancer because of something you went through in the past and you're bringing that into your current connection because with the queen of cups and the two of cups i see a very strong soul tie connection here um, with that queen of cups energy i see um, someone who's very loving cancer someone who is very loving very caring and definitely with your person that you see yourself being with for the long term here. Now with the two of pentacles and that fool in the reverse cancer. You know, this talks about somebody who is, you know, inconsistent. Somebody who is kind of all over the place. You know, this person is not really making up their mind one way or the other. They don't know what they want to do, Cancer. Um, you know, and I see somebody who is just kind of in a state of confusion here. This person does not know what they want right now, Cancer. Now with the tower, and this could be your energy here, um, with the tower here and the wheel of fortune, Cancer, There's an energy of a cycle that is ending cancer, but with that wheel of fortune and the king of cups, I feel like this is someone who was separate, separated from their person or at a distance from their person, um, but this person is going to be coming back around here. The tower and the wheel of fortune, this is something that is going to be changing somebody's idea on how things are going um, is going to be changing cancer I feel like this king of cups energy is going to be coming back around cancer um, or cancer it could be Okay, you know what, Cancer? I feel like there's an energy of this King of Cups is going to distance themselves from you, Cancer. And this is going to cause you to change the way you think. I feel like this person is going to call your bluff here. Because the Tower talks about someone who is walking away from something but they're coming back to the table with a new idea you know and I feel like this person is temporarily going to walk away cancer to get you to open your eyes to the situation okay because that king of cups is devoted to you that king of cups is very much in love with their person here um, but with that will of fortune here I feel like they're trying to change they're trying to change the game here, okay? They are trying to change the game. But let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me about this Ace of Cups in the reverse and the devil. 
Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about the Ace of Cups and the Reverse and the Devil, please. And you have the Six of Wands here. So, Cancer, someone is in their ego. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're in your ego, Cancer. You're not wanting to be hurt again. So, I feel like you're closed off to your person. I feel like you're creating a barrier around yourself. Here's this boundaries here. You are creating boundaries, Cancer, around yourself, between yourself and your person. Because you don't want this person to take advantage of you like you were in the past. Under the deck, you have the Two of Swords here. So this is um, something that you are not showing this person or you're not letting this person know. You're trying to play this off to your person, Cancer. You don't really want to admit that this is what's happening here. But this is exactly what's going on here, Cancer. Tell me about the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups. You have the Chariot. And this is you, Cancer. Um, I feel like you are very determined to have a happy, fulfilling loving connection with your person underneath the deck with that ten of wands cancer i feel like you're really stressed out i feel like you are stressing over something that you have no control over you're worried about something that happened in the past may not have even been your person cancer but you are um suffering from you know baggage Holding on to baggage of the past here. When I see that Ace of Cups in the reverse and the devil in the past position, Cancer. That's what this is telling me. Because currently, you have the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups in the current energy. So this is a happy, loving connection, Cancer. And you are stressed out over nothing at all. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles and the Fool in the reverse, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. And we have the High Priestess. Like I said, you're not saying anything to your person about this, Cancer. Um, it's like you're quietly dealing with this. With the Magician underneath the deck, again, you are very focused, very determined on this connection you know that this connection you know this is a divinely guided connection cancer um and you know that there's something that you have to do this is between you and the divine you need to release this negative energy to the divine cancer in order to move forward um, but I feel like your person is going to speed that <laughs> process up for you, Cancer, when they walk away. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about this tower, please. Cancer, we have the world in the reverse here. We have the world in the reverse. This is an energy of someone who is reaping what they sow. This talks about karma, Cancer, and I feel like this person is dishing out, you know, a little bit of karma for you, Cancer, because they really want you to come back to them, Cancer. With that Eight of Cups, this person is having a hard time doing this. I feel like this is a difficult thing for this person to do. But this person is um, taking a rational approach, Cancer. How can they get through to you? How can they get through to Cancer? Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, please. 
and you have the nine of wands see this person has no intention on going anywhere cancer but this person is also very determined to get you to do what they want here and you have the page of pentacles under the deck this is a person coming in with a message cancer that they want to be recognized in this connection you know this person is not going anywhere this person has been loyal this person has been there this is your king of cups cancer this is your true pair here this is your soulmate and they are reminding you of this cancer i feel like this is going to be that epiphany this is going to be that cry out here cancer um and in the reverse here You know, it's like, are you going to hear this when this person cries out for your help or cries out for you to pay attention to them? Tell me about this King of Cups, please. Tell me about this King of Cups. And you have the Seven of Swords here. Under the deck, the Two of Pentacles, Cancer. It's like it's like there's an energy of this King of Cups here with the Seven of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, Cancer. With that Four of Swords, I feel like there's an energy of this person is going back and forth between do I just want to be alone because that seven of swords is a lone wolf energy someone who just wants to operate in silence and secret do what you know they do don't involve cancer you know or am I going to be here for cancer be committed to cancer I feel like this person, again, like I said, it's very hard for them to just kind of walk away from you. So this person is going to have moments where they give in to you, Cancer. Or there's going to be a moment where this person gives in to you. That could be with this High Priestess and the Magician. This magician could be your energy cancer. You could be um, determined to get your person to give in to you, you know. Um, but you're going to have to open up at some point, cancer, because your person is tired of um, not being recognized for being the committed person that they are. Okay, the King of Cups is a committed, loyal person and very much in love with the queen of cups here so they're getting a rough deal here cancer so let's look at your energy here let's look at your side cancer and see what is going on with you or look at your person's side here and see what is happening here tell me about cancer and cancer's person please Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer. And we have the Five of Cups and the Empress in the reverse, Cancer. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian, Libra, Taurus energy here. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit. And we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me. Okay. And we have the Ace of Wands. And the Seven of Wands, Cancer. That's eight wands there. Aries, Sag, Leo, Energy. 
interesting. Under the deck, we have the world here with temperance. What did I tell you? With the eight of swords, cancer. What did I tell you was going to happen here? And the Nine of Swords, Cancer. Okay. I must say, we have the Six of Wands here, Cancer. I'm going to take that as well. Because I do see a happy ending here. I do see you both... Um, successfully coming together here cancer but it's not going to be without a fight and i feel like you're the one that's fighting here with that five of cups cancer and the empress in the reverse clearly your energy here that empress in the reverse is someone who is holding on to something in the past and it's keeping them from moving forward with that Five of Cups, this person is dwelling on the past <coughs> in a state of sadness or mourning about something that happened and not moving beyond this, Cancer. And I feel like this is your energy here. And I feel like your kind of your person is kind of happens to be, um, it's like tag your it. I feel like because this person is in the connection with you right now. I feel like they're getting the brunt of whatever this past person did. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, this is a new connection. This is a new relationship, a new person, Cancer. New opportunity. But with that Six of Cups, Cancer, this is all these old feelings coming back. Um, and I don't feel like it's someone from the past coming in. I feel like it's the feelings and the memories of what happened in the past and I feel like all of that is what you're dealing with right now when you're thinking about long term or a new relationship here ace of wands and the seven of wands cancer everything is just moving a little quickly for you and with that seven of wands you're automatically pushing this person away but you're just trying to protect yourself okay a light grows brighter only by lighting another cancer. And it is the number two. So we do have twin flame energy here with this ace of wands. I feel like cancer, there's a lot of passion here in the connection. With the world here in the temperance card underneath the deck here with the eight of swords and the nine of swords and the six of wands cancer, there is an energy of this person is going to or you're going to end up feeling like there's something that's ending this is going to cause you to pump the brakes cancer and ask your person for another chance or you're going to come in with some hope of trying to fix or balance the connection cancer with that eight of swords and the nine of swords i feel like your person is going to block you from speaking to them there's going to be a period of time where you're not talking to your person we saw the king of cups there, Cancer. So very clearly that tells me your person is the one that's creating the boundaries in this situation here. I feel like your person is the one that's putting their foot down here. With that six of wands, Cancer, very much a matter of ego. But I also feel like this connection is headed towards um, success and happiness. I feel like your person is going to get what they want ultimately. But let's see. Tell me about the Five of Cups and the Empress in the reverse, please. And we have the Tower. See, Cancer, this was something that happened a long time ago in the past, and it really affected you. Um, whatever it was that ended Cancer, it ended in a very destructive way. And, and it did bother you with this hermit card cancer. It caused you to go in your shell. It caused you to rethink everything two, three, four, five times over again. And you still don't feel confident with that empress in the reverse. It's just very insecure 
what this left you in, Cancer, that Five of Cups. So, you know, it's a little PTSD. You're, you, I'm not going to say you didn't go through whatever you went through in the past. It was hurtful. And not a lot of people can come from that and go into another connection, Cancer. But in this case, you did. And look, we have the Ten of Cups here. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. You, um, there is a lot of love in this connection, Cancer. A lot of love, Cancer. But with that Four of Cups, you're literally just pushing this person away. But with that Ten of Swords in the background, Cancer, be careful. You don't push this person away too far. Okay, because I did see an energy of somebody who's not really trusting the situation, Cancer. And, um, you know, there's an energy of this person may think you're cheating with someone else. Okay, so that Ace of Wands, this can represent someone who is um, cheating Cancer. So you never know, this person may get a little defensive here but let's just see tell me about this eight of ace of wands and the seven of wands this talks about communication somebody coming in with a lot of communication here five of pentacles cancer yeah somebody doesn't want to get left out cancer somebody does not want to be alone i feel like they're going to be communicating like you know, standing their ground here, Cancer, letting you know, hey, if you don't come forward and let me know you care about me as much as I care about you, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to leave. That Six of Cups, Cancer, I feel like somebody's going to get a blast from the past here. I feel like this is going to be a memory that is going to push things forward, Cancer. Look at that Three of Wands. Something is going to motivate you here, Cancer. And I feel like it's just the energy of being alone again. And look, you have the Ten of Pentacles here to clarify the world and the Temperance card here. You know, Cancer, that this is your person. This also talks about sudden change. Sudden change here. And look, with the King of Cups under the deck, beautiful, 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 beautiful Cancer. This is, this is um, Cancer, someone using, taking the rational approach, Cancer, using their head, making the right decision here. Head over heart here, Cancer. Tell me about this Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. And we have the Star Cancer. This is hope of things getting better. This is you healing, Cancer. This is going to be the straw that broke the camel's back. Your person is going to push you into the right direction here. You have the Two of Wands here. This is someone making plans to heal the connection. Someone who is, um, you know, they're, they're taking their time, Cancer. This person wants a future with you. But this is someone who's very hopeful in healing because they want a future. This is your energy here. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please. Tell me about the Six of Wands. And look, we have the Hierophant, Cancer. Beautiful, beautiful. This is a marriage proposal coming through. Here's that Eight of Wands again, Cancer. This is that communication. This is that communication coming in, Cancer. Somebody may propose marriage here. Or somebody is going to accept an offer that was previously made here, Cancer. I feel like this marriage proposal was one that was already previously made. Tell me about the final outcome here for Cancer and Cancer's person. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about the final outcome for Cancer and Cancer's person, please. Look at that. We have the Death card and the High Priestess. 
two major arcana cancer that represent change someone being divinely guided here remember we talked about this message of guidance in the reverse now it's in the upright here cancer and this is that death card i feel like you are letting go of the past and allowing the divine to come in and speak to you in this connection page of pentacles underneath the deck cancer this is you rec recognizing um the situation for what it is or recognizing your person here okay giving your person the recognition that they've been asking for tell me about this death card and the high priestess please queen of wands cancer this is confidence this is you being your confident self here underneath the deck here we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse here and cancer this is you reaping what what you sow this is you reaping what you sow and i know cancer with that seven of wands i feel like you and there you go with the two of cups Cancer, you are going to fight for this connection with the death card. Cancer and the Empress, you know, you are fighting for this connection, Cancer. You are standing up for this connection, finally. Um, and with the Two of Cups, the death card, the Empress, Cancer, you are going to have the abundance in this connection. Emotionally, your person is going to see you opening up. And that is really going to fire up this connection. I really feel like that. Look, a light grows brighter only by lighting another. Do you see what I mean, Cancer? Beautiful. Mirror, Cancer. When you love on your person, they are going to love on you. Amen, Cancer. This was a beautiful, beautiful, blessed reading. I love you guys so very much. I hope this reading resonates with one more or all of you. I will see you back here on my channel very soon. I love you. Mwah.